Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've had to shut the blinds because it's really sunny today, but freezing cold, but I am heading into home sets. I haven't been here for so long. And if you know my channel, you will know that I have had some vouchers since my birthday in November, <laughs> which I got from the girls and I really wanted to spend them in home sense for something for the new house. So we had to wait until that all happened and that went ahead and now we're here so I can buy something for it. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to take you along, show you what's new in home sense, Tiki Max, and then the things that I'm going to get with my voucher. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and give the video a like if you like this kind of shopping video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> put my shoes on um at the end of the video i will share a haul a home sense haul of what i've bought so keep on watching to the end if you want to see what i buy but yeah let's go i think i'm gonna look for some maybe some artwork because i'd like to get some artwork for the house and a mirror as well um i just love out here i see it in your eyes yeah, I can read the so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this because they've got music on in TK Maxx and I will get a copyright claim slap on the wrist if I share. So I thought I would share some of these really fun garden bits. Not entirely sure what this is for. I feel like maybe a picnic or something, but they had quite a few bits like this. So I'll show you a few more. And I really, really liked these trays. I thought it'd be really good for a barbecue, maybe to put some bread rolls on or maybe a dessert or something like that. They were $12.99. Um, two different designs. I thought they were quite cool. And then see, these are some of the other bits. So this is, I guess, a picnic basket. And then there was also this really cool bee, which again, wasn't entirely sure what it was for, but you know, you could put your bread rolls in there for a picnic or something like that. Let me know in the comments if you've got an idea of what you'd use that for. So I really, really love this little section. It's like the garden section, really colorful, really bright and lots of lovely bits. I also caught my eye on these, which are some tables, which I thought would look really nice in our kitchen dining room. It's got that kind of industrial style to it. Uh, we're really just finding our feet with what we want to have in the house at the moment and just living in it for a while. So these seat pads caught my eye because we've actually got a set coming soon for our garden and it doesn't have seat pads with it so i thought these are really cool actually really different and this cushion really jumped out at me i think it's so cool loads of people ask where my cushion's from in my bedroom and it's from tk maxx and they've got a really good selection also i wasn't expecting so many rugs as well so i think i'm gonna take some measurements for our snug lounge area and go back and see what prices they are because you couldn't really tell very easily without kind of pulling them all out. So I didn't want to do that without the right measurements. But I definitely think I'm going to look for one from here because they look quite affordable. I'm also on the hunt for a lamp for our bedroom. So one on each side. We have got a little light on the wall. But I'm not sure if I want maybe something on the bedside table as well. I adore the shape of this kind of scalloped pink toned lamp but I wasn't sure if the base went with it very well and I didn't really like the shiny gold on it I think maybe like an antique brassy gold would look nicer and then these shelving units were really cool I really love this style of shelving but I just feel like I would end up having a load of rubbish on there It'd be like just having stuff that you don't really need out on show <laughs> so yeah I, I stopped myself from getting one of those uh, I really love the storage in here. There's so many different ones here. The green ones I think would look really nice in Henry's new bedroom. So maybe I'll go back for that. I just wanted to see how much things were to start with. This would make a nice bin, but more for a bedroom where you're not putting any wet liquids or anything in. So I thought that'd be nice, maybe for the office. And then I love these little artificial plants as well. And they have got so many plant pots in here and the artificial flower section is really big as well. So this really kind of jumped out at me. I just really love this, do you call it cane or do you call it wicker? Not really sure, but I really like the style of it. And these plants were so different. I've no idea what this plant is. Uh, I thought I'd just pull one out so you can see how big it is because it was only one little stem. So it will be quite pricey if you're trying to make a big kind of vase full of them. I thought they were quite cool and very different. There's actually a discounted section at the moment for their Easter stuff. This is a real shame because there's quite a few eggs missing from this wreath, but I thought it was really fun. Uh, but something you could definitely make yourself quite easy and quite cheaply. I haven't managed to do any DIYs this spring, but in fact, I will try and link my Easter spring DIYs from last year in the description bar and the years gone by. I thought that was so cute, that little nest. And then little napkin ring holders. They were really sweet, but I 
didn't really feel like I had a use for them, although I did really love them and they were only six pounds as well. So yeah, lots of little bargains in here if you are looking for some Easter bits and bobs. The candle section in here is absolutely huge. I love looking through them, sniffing them. I'm always drawn to a more masculine sort of sandalwood smell rather than sweet ones. I'm not really one for vanilla, that sort of scent, but I do love fruity. Like we've got a rhubarb Yankee dupe at the moment from Home Bargains and that's really nice. And yeah, I, I just love those kind of musky smells. These Ray Dunn pots of candles are only 12 99 which I thought was quite a good price for Ray Dunn. And this one was beautiful with the little amethyst, sorry, uh, the rose quartz on the top, 7 99 I thought that would make a nice present actually. But yeah, they had quite a few bits of Ray Dunn in here. Uh, obviously this is probably Christmas or the Valentine's Day range, but I was surprised to see it in there. Let me know if you've ever bought Ray Dunn before, how that fares price-wise. This I thought was beautiful for a stand for a plant in the garden. I thought it was cane, but as I touched it, I realized it was actually metal. So yeah, I was quite surprised at that. Those are 12 dollars uh, for different sizes, and I thought they'd look really nice in the garden. I really love these brass watering cans, but also these like little mister things, I'll show you in a sec. They would be good for indoor plants, maybe cacti or something like that. And I thought they were just really pretty as an ornament and really inexpensive as well at $6.99 there for that one, a really nice color. I did like these little stands and I thought I could probably just buy so many things here but at the moment I'm just enjoying not having too much clutter. Where we've moved into a bigger house we've got the same amount of stuff and I'm enjoying not having loads of stuff everywhere at the moment although I'm sure I'll fill it as you guys know. So I thought I'd show you this at 5 99 I've actually done a whole video on Jamie Oliver's, Oliver's five ingredients book. I'll link it for you if I remember if not just search on my channel but I didn't realise they did cookery books in here so that was a good find and it is actually one of my favourite cookery books. It's so good to follow. I liked these as well for, for ornaments, but I'm not sure if I've got anywhere that I'd put them. So yeah, like I said, we're just really enjoying living in our house at the moment and getting our feet, finding our feet with it really. I'm always a sucker for a gate as well, so I really like those crystals on top of those boxes. And actually, this is a good hack, getting your, your Christmas and your birthday bags from in here. They've always got some in the sale, really affordable, and I really love the selection as well. I thought I'd show you these little bits in the beauty section, Dan and TK Maxx, because I was really surprised to see Wow in here. I think it's called Colour Wow. I'm not really sure of the brand, but I've seen it a lot online and it's meant to be really, really good. So I thought I'd show you these. So always think about TK Maxx and HomeSense if you are looking for beauty because they've always got some amazing bargains in there. These bags were fun. I wasn't sure if I could pull it off but they would be really good for the beach because you put your towel in there, your water bottle, all sorts, so you'd have loads of space. And they also do really good pyjamas down here as well, cyber jammies, which are probably about double that price online. Uh, lots of different prints, but the selection wasn't huge in terms of the sizes. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on there if you're looking for pyjamas, definitely around Christmas time. I do love a new pyjama for Christmas. And also pants as well. If you're in the market for some new pants, got some Calvins in there, seven ninety nine, and they had some bras as well. And these little necklaces are so sweet. They really caught my eye. I love the moon and stars, twelve ninety nine. Or there was a bigger version, which I prefer actually the smaller one. Now, I wanted to show you this because I could not believe that the, this brand was in here. I cannot say the brand, but this brand is I think it's B G C something. It's like. I actually thought it was something like Maximo. It's definitely not that though. But it was $448. So unfortunately I couldn't find a price on there, which is such a shame. But I was so surprised to see a designer, proper designer brand in here. And this one was beautiful. It's only $9.99. But I think you have to be quite slender to fit it into it, which I don't think I would. I did actually pick this dress up. It was $12.99. And I thought this in, t in Zara would be like £40, but I decided at the end, at the tail, that I couldn't actually afford it because I uh, didn't really think I needed it, actually. But I thought it'd be a really good dress for summer. And actually, I've bought a few Zara dresses from Vinted, and they're really pretty. And this one I thought was a lovely summer holiday dress as well. Some more of that same brand that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Please let me know if you know. And this one I thought was so gorgeous. It's such a statement dress. It would be amazing for a night out. Same brand again. So they obviously had a nice delivery through with that one. 
but this dress I thought was stunning. Probably not really the right shape for me. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren one. You'd have to be super, super slim to fit into this particular one, but I think that just really nice boho with a straw hat would look really, really nice, but I think it's definitely too small for me. So yeah, up to some artwork now, back into home sense. Um, I am looking for artwork, but I just didn't see anything that really caught my eye. I feel like I am just need to decide on themes before I buy them. And I'm going to keep looking. Although this one caught my eye. It's like woolen. But it was £100. But yeah, if you've got any good suggestions for nice artwork, please do let me know in the comments. And you can't go wrong with buying your knobs here from HomeSense. They have got beautiful knobs for sort of chest of drawers or something like that, a dresser or something like that. So I would definitely be back when I need some knobs because I've got a good selection. And these shells I thought were really nice, but I did think 14 99 was a bit steep, although they say they were £42.50. And that, oh my gosh, I love that lamp, that lamp, that mirror. I was gonna show you these mirrors, but I realized they were extra, extra heavy and I'd probably end up breaking them, so I didn't. Now this I opened up because I couldn't understand what it was and then I realized it's a table runner and it's a fantastic table runner and it's in the sale at only 12 pounds. So I thought that was a really nice price, but I just think it's a little bit too long for our table, which is such a shame because I really, really love it. A few more bits of outside furniture here, so if you are looking for some, there's actually loads of really good price furniture online at the moment. They've got a beautiful set in Aldi, actually, a cane set, which has really caught my eye, and I thought that was quite fun. Now, this banana holder, I thought was a great idea, but surely not all bananas are equal, you know? Not all got the same bend on them, so don't know how that would fit every banana. I love the idea of a wine tumbler. I thought these little Starbucks mugs would make a really good Christmas present. I'm not sure if they would last in time because they have got food in them, but I thought they probably would come into the sale throughout the year. So it'd be well worth checking this if you'd like to get a gift for somebody because I think that'd make a really cool gift and they're really inexpensive because they're in the sale. A few like bunny things and chocolates for Easter. I thought that was a nice little idea for a gift as well. And then these were giving me Ralph Lauren vibes actually. I thought for dining table for Christmas maybe, well not Christmas, more like kind of summer entertaining, but I thought they were really nice actually, and the coasters, you'll know if you've watched my decluttering videos, I have a thing for coasters, and um, I was very tempted to pick some more up, you have to keep on watching to see the haul, to see what I did buy, I'm going to share that for you at the end. These jugs, $14.99, La Creuset, really nice brand, really sturdy, really well made. And I thought this would not only make a really nice jug, but maybe just pop some daffodils in there. That's a beautiful colour as well. I'm really drawn to blue at the moment. Now, these were a lovely find. These are, I can't remember how much they are. I think I'll show you in a sec, hopefully. But keep on watching to the end, because I will definitely be showing you. Hint, hint. <laughs> and this goes really nicely with that tray with the cover on it that I showed you at the beginning as well. So $16.99 for four. And I thought they were quite nice for outside dining as well. And trays. I've been looking for a nice tray. So keep watching because I've got one that I'm going to show you soon, which I really love. And just some bits and bobs, really. I really just love Home Sense. There's so many bits in here. I haven't been here for ages. I'll be sharing a reel as well over on my Instagram, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis. And I'll show you some bits that I picked up that I caught my eye, sorry, in Home Sense. So come and have a watch of that and come and give me a follow if you don't already. Just these little random bits, you know, so many random kitchen bits, which are all really nice. And I did pick up a few myself. Now, I really do have a thing for mugs, but these are such good value. Really good in the sale. I actually got the teachers at school some mugs with some Easter chocolate in for Easter because I just thought it was a nice little gift. They probably have millions of mugs, but I do love a mug myself. And I really love the plates and kitchenware here. So I did go a little bit mad on a few bits and pops, as you can see. Oh, so dark in here. Um, yeah, I've bought a lot. I went in. Um, I'm really hoping my voucher will cover the amount that I've spent. Um, I think it will, but I've got a lot of good things. Well, well, well. <laughs> I um, went a bit mad. Um, and that was really nice, actually, because for so long, I have found it really hard to shop. I think when you do like a no by year, and I say this all the time, so I'll rush through it, but I feel like it really makes you so much more mindful of what you want to spend your money on. And obviously, having done the move, we are not very flush at the moment. We've got literally like no spare cash at the moment. 
little bit zoomed in there. Having moved, obviously it's budget is tight. <laughs> we haven't really got loads of money, so that's just normal when you move house and you just gotta like settle in. Obviously you spent everything you've ever uh, owned, earned, saved <laughs> um, for the house. So yeah, it was. it's always been quite hard, but actually I think because I knew it was vouchers that my friends got me for my birthday, in November <laughs> and I've been like saving it up for so long did that come out the side <sighs> oh my god what's happened there um I've been saving it for so long and because I had in mind like I first of all I was a bit diff I'm finding it a bit difficult to um like think what should I buy what should I buy so I was thinking clothes and I thought no I don't really want clothes uh not when there's like gorgeous homeware and I think because I had in my head like we are going to be entertaining soon people are going to come for like barbecues and things like that I thought I just want to get some nice bits for the house so anyway I'll show you in a minute what I got uh really impressed with some of the prices one of the things is like this big it's amazing perfect for ginormous salads <laughs> so excited to entertain and um it was five pounds it was reduced about ten times there were quite a few of them as well I was tempted to buy another one but I didn't think I'd get it home okay so yeah she's wrapped it all up really nicely let's go home and then I'll do a little haul <laughs> little home sense haul <laughs> I don't think I've ever done home sense haul a bit giddy actually oh right then so we've got a noisy Maggie in the background it's suddenly pouring with hail and um 10 minutes from the school run so that's obviously always the case yesterday it was literally pouring. oops uh it was Lit, like the worst rain for ages in the morning for the school run then dry all day and then exactly the same for the school run so that's great. right so what so we've got four bags of things very unlike me obviously you guys know i'm not really a whole kind of channel anymore um but these are well thought out and i mean typical me like i get vouchers to spend on myself anything i want and i buy stuff for other people <laughs> for the house um but it's just all stuff that i think is going to be lovely oh what some actually there are some bits for me um but yeah just like entertaining things can't wait right so i here's my seat um i actually spent 30 pounds of my own money so it was just over 100 pounds um and i had a 70 pound voucher for my friends so yeah um lots of things that were in the sale i'll try i'll keep this close by so we can tell you the prices so let's go first with some beautiful homeware. In fact, no, I'm not going to do that because they're all wrapped up and if they break, I'll be so upset. So I'm going to do that. Sorry, I'm down here still. <laughs> I'm going to do that last. Okay, so first of all, let's just show you this. Okay, 35 hangers. You guys have always told me about using these hangers and look, they were seven pounds. If you can see that. Um, and I actually got another set, the same which didn't have packaging, so they're all loose, for the same price, so seven pounds for 70 hangers, like 14 pounds for 70 hangers, which I think is a really good price. I went with the pink because I thought it would not, oh no, oh my God, there's loads of broken ones. Okay, so not sure what to do about that. We'll see what they're like when they are hanging stuff. Oh my gosh, there's like loads of broken ones. Oh my God. The reason I bought the pink was because there were two packs uh, for seven pounds for 35 hangers. And the others were like 12.99 for set 25 hangers. So that's why I went with the pink, but maybe that's why. <laughs> that is so annoying. I have to take that back now. Right, so I bought a pizza cutter for two pounds, which was in the sale. Because ours has gone missing. We've only got one that's like a a bike that Stu's sister got him, which is not very easy to do. So yeah, that one is something we needed. Oh, this is for the boys' bathroom, so the main bathroom. This was 6 99 like a terrazzo toilet brush. <laughs> uh, but I really like the style of that. And to go with it, we, oh, where did it go? Oh, it's not gonna be in this bag, is it? I'll come back to that. Um, can I go to Home Sense without buying a candle? No, I cannot. <laughs> this one I thought was a really nice scent. It's eucalyptus, it was 8 dollars It's like this. And it's a really kind of like masculine smell. Wild herbs and soft woods with eucalyptus. And not heard of this brand, Lab, before. I don't know if that's a brand you know of. Uh, but yeah, really nice smell. And I thought this would be nice, it's blue. 
outside for the patio for entertaining. So when we get our tables and chairs, which I'll show you when I get them because we've bought a load of stuff for the patio. I'll show you when that's all here ready. Uh, this, because I have one, this was four pounds in the sale. I have, I had one, but it got really moldy in the shower because I couldn't hang it on anything. So I've got this and it's like a little one like this that you can essentially, it's like a body buff, buffer. And I'm gonna be able to hang it. It's a bit looser, it goes quite down far down your hand. But yeah, so that's gonna go in the shower. But I thought I could also store that in the drawer as well because it's smaller. And the other one was like really long. Um, what else, what else, what have we got? Let me just check I'm not running late for the school run. Yes, I will be, so let's hurry this along. Oh, here you go. Here's the other thing I got for the main bathroom. $7.99, this is a soap dispenser. So I thought those would be nice together in the bathroom and like we'll just tie it all together. It's really nice. What did we call that, terrazzo? Terrazzo, am I making that up? I'm running out of space, I know that much. Okay, so, right, let's go on to some of the outdoor bits. So this I deliberated on, I went back, I put it back, I took it again, I was like, do I, don't I? It was 10 pounds, which I don't know if that's a lot. Is that a lot? It's a chips and dip pot, basically. I thought make my own guacamole and have nachos. Mm, it's a thing. So yeah, really pleased with that because it goes so nicely. Sorry, Maggie. With oh okay. So here are the placemats for the outside dining, and our table is like a cane furniture. So I think this will look really pretty. These were twelve ninety nine. Annoyingly, I only found four of them, which is a shame because I thought they would look really nice if I had. Um, like one for everyone, so I don't know quite what I'm gonna do. Obviously there's only four of us, but if we ever entertain, we only have four. So I might try that again, or might just look this brand up, Domain, and see if I can find any, like, online. But I really like those. Um, oh, what's this? What's this, four pounds for some tongs? Because we only have one pair, and I feel like when you're cooking, you don't wanna, like, have the raw chicken or whatever. Oh my God, my trampoline just literally tipped up. <gasps> Well, I need to go and rescue my trampoline, which is about to go flying across the garden. Um, I need some rope to tie it down. Anyway, let me finish this before I go and sort that out. Sorry, I just have my coat on because I thought I was going to have to race out there. Uh, where did I get to? So this is a soap dish, which I have been looking for. It's a suction one, so it's five, it was five pounds. Basically, you put it onto the wall um, because our shower, there's nowhere to put anything. So it, like the soap goes on top of the shampoo bottle. It makes it all grimy and horrible. So I think this will be a really good solution. So that's a nice little find. I find that TK Maxx Home Sense is just so much in there, like random things. Apple slicer, $2.99 because ours broke and the boys love doing it with their apples. And actually this is really good for making like wedges for uh, like potato wedges. So I just thought these were so pretty. And just something I wouldn't like buy normally because, like money, um, but with my voucher. So this wasn't for 5 99 hand painted in Turkey, dishwater and microwave safe, that's a bonus. So I thought for like little salads on there, like beef tomatoes, mozzarella, that sort of situation. And then I also got a bigger version in a slightly different paint, but the same style. This one was 7 99 Oh, 5 99 yeah. And then there's a bigger one like this, so I thought you could put on just like kind of salad -y bits, really. So I thought they were really, really pretty. Oh my god, it's so windy, guys. It's scary. Can't believe what these four are in this weather. Okay, and then some pots for, again, like salad -y bits for barbecue. These were £2 each, really nicely made. Lovely blue colour, so I thought all of this set out. Let me know if you want like a garden sort of styling video for that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, I can make that, so that was two pounds as well. So I've got two of those. And then this absolute bargain was only five pounds. It had been reduced quite a few times. Uh, I can't see what the original price, but even the first reduction was 16, 11, seven, then five. Look at this, with like, just imagine this with a massive either pasta dish or like paella, paella or something like that. That looks so cool. And then obviously that all ties together with all the blue stuff. So yeah, that is my home sense haul. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new here and give it a like if you enjoyed it and you want more videos like this on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you so soon. Bye.